November 8, 1916. From the World News Headquarters of PresidentialHistory.com, this is Presidential History News with Mike Purdy. Good morning, and welcome to Presidential History News. I'm Mike Purdy. The 1916 presidential election has officially drawn to a close, and although the winner was unclear when polls closed last night, the big news this morning is that President Woodrow Wilson has lost his bid for re-election to his Republican challenger, former Supreme Court Justice Charles Evans Hughes. As predicted, it was a close race. Hughes won by just three electoral votes, with a total of 267 compared to Wilson's 264. The outcome was in doubt until just a few hours ago when returns came in, showing a win for Hughes in California. The state's 13 electoral votes put him over the top, just past the 266 required to win the presidency. Many commentators are predicting that this win for the Republican Hughes could position the historically red state of California as a permanent Republican stronghold in the future. The win for Hughes came as a surprise to many. For one thing, Wilson gained significant political capital by keeping the United States out of the war in Europe, an achievement he used as one of the cornerstones of his campaign. Most voters also considered Wilson a much more likable candidate than Hughes, who has a reputation for being stiff and impersonal. Former President Theodore Roosevelt even referred to the Supreme Court justice as the bearded iceberg. With the election over, there's an even bigger question looming this morning. Could Woodrow Wilson be planning to hand off the presidency to Charles Evans Hughes before the official inauguration? According to unnamed sources, Wilson might be planning to appoint Hughes as Secretary of State and then resign, along with Vice President Marshall. Following the line of succession, this would mean handing the presidency to Hughes immediately. Again, this is still an unconfirmed report, and we'll keep you updated as the story develops. We now turn to news of a pending strike by the powerful railroad unions and how this could affect the already fragile economy. Wait, hold on. It it sounds like we're getting breaking news on the election returns from California. We now go live to Robert Miller, who is outside the California election headquarters. Robert, what's the news there? Thank you, Mike. We have just had some astonishing news about the current election results. A spokesperson from the California Secretary of State has confirmed that their earlier tally was incomplete. The current tally shows that Hughes has in fact lost California. That's a very surprising development, Robert. Without a win in California for Hughes, that means the entire election goes to Wilson, after all. That's right, Mike, which is probably why California officials took so long to make the announcement. There is a lot riding on just a few votes here. I'm sure they wanted to be certain before making a public announcement this monumental. According to the final tally, President Wilson has won California by less than 4,000 votes. Back to you, Mike. Thank you, Robert, for that report. That is certainly quite a turnaround. It appears that Woodrow Wilson will get a second term in the White House after all. With a win in California, his final count is 277 electoral votes to just 254 for Hughes. Let's see if Mr. Hughes has any comment on this recent news. We now go live to Julie Anderson at the Waldorf Astoria in New York City, where Justice Hughes is staying. Thank you, Mike. I'm here just outside the hotel room where Charles Evans Hughes is staying. Let's see if he has any reaction to this latest development. Hi, I'm Julie Anderson with Presidential History News. Does Justice Hughes have any comment on the latest election returns from California? I'm sorry, the president cannot be disturbed. Well, tell him when he wakes up that he's no longer president. Well, as you can tell, clearly Mr. Hughes has not heard the latest election results and is unaware that the presidency has slipped through his fingers. 
It will be quite a surprise for this former Supreme Court justice when he finds out. I'm Julie Anderson, reporting live from New York City. Back to you, Mike. Thank you, Julie. It appears that Charles Evans Hughes will have some unpleasant news when he wakes up this morning. For those of you just joining us, we've received confirmation that California has gone to President Wilson and with it a second term in the White House. This reverses the outcome reported last night by most major news outlets who called the election for Hughes. We'll keep you posted as developments in this historic 1916 presidential election continue to unfold. For Presidential History News, I'm Mike Purdy.